concept of feminine and masculine permeates every aspect of the Batama Reba people or Sumba people from Togo and Benin respectively. They are known to be experts in the enlargement and elongation of the manhood and this was done during initiation. In West Africa, they reside in the northeastern Kara regions of northern Togo with the Kabre people who are the second largest tribe in Togo. In Benin, they are known as the Somba people. They can be located around the Atakura mountain range of northwestern Benin, sharing a border with the Gaul relatives in neighboring Burkina Faso. The Batamariba people migrated to their present day location from the north and northwest of Burkina Faso, where they were living with the Mosi people. Their population is estimated to be approximately 180,000. As part of the processes for initiating boys into adulthood, the Somba people practice the manhood elongation and enlargement procedure. The preparation for the male initiation begins with the pounding of a traditional herb until it becomes very smooth. The village herbalist carefully mixes the herbs. When the herbs or concussion is deemed ready for application, it is wrapped onto the manhood of the initiate. They normally apply it after taking their bath or when going to sleep. A hole is then made in a branch of a tree or on a piece of ivory. The initiate puts his manhood in the hole for some months until the manhood reaches a satisfactory size and length of his choice before removing it. This tribe oppose or stand against any domination and servitude. They also give no regards to modernization and technology. Public rites are performed at the final stages of the initiation. The initiates are draped over with rich clothes around their shoulders. Cowries are hung around their necks and waist and horn head dresses are placed on their heads. Cowrie shells holds a significant place for the Batamariba or Somba people. The initiates appear at important social events such as funerals and African manhood enlargement rituals as well as the male and female initiation into manhood. These beautiful small shells resembles the life-giving organs of the female. Therefore, they are a symbol of the life-giving energy of the womb or the creative energy of the feminine. According to oral history, the African manhood enlargement rituals was practiced throughout the continent for years. Unfortunately, the arrivals of Muslims and Christian conquerors on the African continent gradually eliminated the practice, deeming it immoral and forbidding its use with the threat of death or enslavement. African manhood enlargement rituals may be perceived as being egotistical and self-absorbed. However, the practice has sociological implications. A detailed study into the practice details how manhood enlargement supports the social cohesion of the Batamariba people or the Batamariba community as well as their spiritual well-being. The Somba or Batamariba people perceive it that a bigger manhood increases the rate of procreation. It is their belief that the bigger the manhood, the better the prospects of the initiate to further more children by giving the female pleasure and orgasms. After years of observation, the Somba or Batamariba people have come to the conclusion that males who produce more children have bigger sexual organs, while females who mother more children are also more orgasmic. Increasing the size of the male genitalia has spiritual implications. To the Batamariba or Somba people, everything in the material and spiritual world consists of feminine and masculine energy. Energies from both the material and spiritual worlds oppose and complement each other and must be carefully balanced.
This belief in the masculine and feminine energies can be seen in the worship of their androgynous god, Kui, who is both male and female sharing the same body. The two energies, when coupled together in one harmony, creates a force for the universe to balance. When separated, these two energies become chaotic and destructive. The feminine energy can be unpredictable and irrational, thus the need for the masculine energy to keep close ties to avoid her escaping the union. If she does escape the union, this would invite the destruction of the universe. As a result, the masculine conquers the feminine by tethering her with his sexual organ and creating a strong union to become like the god Kui, making him a demigod. The god Kui, according to the Batama Riba people, possesses a physical form known as Kui, which is masculine, and a spiritual form called Liye, which is feminine. <laughs> Women of the Batama Riba tribe also love to have their tribesmen who have long and large manhoods. They believe they are the real men to make a family with. The Batamariba or Somba tribe regard those with small reproductive organs as infertile, most especially men. With this culture or belief that have been inculcated into them by their ancestors, every man ensures that the practice is practiced during initiation into adulthood.